Hello everybody, welcome to my uh, round of 16 Champions Cup match uh, up against Tshurgant with his Chaos, he's got loads of guard, he's got two claw bombers, one with tackle, one with strength, so he's got one to kill ghouls, one to kill m m mummies, he's got loads of guard, stand firm, tackle, dodge, all sorts of stuff, 13 players, um, we're down quite a lot of TV, um, but you know, have some things. <laughs> 14 players, two dirty players, thanks to this zombie. Um, so 14 guys, two dirty players, a bribe and a wizard. So that's what we've got going for us. Um, as you can see in commentary, we've got Calcium and Flicky Flack, who I'm going to let them commentate as I uh, try to concentrate on the game. So, tschüss. Ah, oh, yeah. Bye, Jim. Good luck. Good luck, Jim. So um, I was just having a quick look at this Chaos team. It's a pretty solid looking Chaos team, and it? it's uh, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, you've got to tag those Claw Palmers. Uh, so are you thinking get a zombie on them as, as quickly as possible? Yeah, you do one of two things with Claw Palmers. You either tie them up with shitters, okay? Tie them up with, <laughs> with rookies, or you take them out. I love the fact that Jimmy has hired a DP zombie here. I love that and taking a bribe. I know that Jim historically isn't as much of a fan of DP as I am, but in this situation, I think it's a perfect hire. I love the inducements he's taken. You know, a wizard as well, um, as a deterrent from, you know, from chaos, really sort of pushing more than one touchdown at a half. Yeah, I, I, I really like his inducements here. Yeah, I was when he was going through them. Um, yeah, I, I tend to agree with that. Absolutely. Uh, I think you've got to play the variance game in this one. If you just try and go toe to toe, you, you're you're probably going to lose. So I like the fact that he's he's going to try and and go high variance with that bribe and those two DPs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The last thing you want to do against this kind of team, because uh, I think he's got more guard than Jim. He's certainly got more firepower than Jim comparative strength you can argue that he's probably pound for pound a bit stronger than jim on the pitch so yeah, yeah. absolutely interesting jim is benching his edge form with a wizard on d that would be the ideal player to uh, to steal the the ball yeah it's do you know what i don't hate him benching that player um, because Jim's also thinking about the one turn if things go a little bit wrong here. But... True, yeah. Yeah, he's, he has got that option. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if Jim maintains this oh, setup with the mummies on the side, on the extremes. Mm. Um, I, I don't know if I'm such a fan of leaving mummies exposed like that. <laughs> yeah, especially um, with, uh, with those claw palm hits coming in, yeah. Yeah, I got to be fair. If if this was me, and you know Jimmy's a better player than I am, I would probably be. I would probably drop a couple of the ghouls in defense, and I would be putting a few more zombies up, and I'd be protecting the mummies for at least a turn. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it, I don't hate what he's done here either. Um, it looks like he's. It looks like he's playing actually, Flicky. It looks like he's playing like you said for the wizard and the ball steal. Otherwise, why would you field three ghouls on defense? Yeah, so he has switched it. He has brought him on. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. a risk, obviously, because he's got, you know, three tackle mighty blow, four tackle mighty blow, sorry. Yeah. High risk, high reward. Yeah, absolutely. I know it is three. Um, yeah, it is. But, you know, keeping your players alive is not going to, you know, get you through to the next round. You, he's He's got to just put everything into this, which we know he will. He'll, he'll, he'll give it his best shot. Do you know what? If you play scared with a regen team, you're a mm. bellend. And Jim's no bellend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fully agree. Okay, so the reroll is pretty handy, isn't it? It's always nice to get a reroll at the start. It is. Might give him that extra chance to get a guy down and get him fouled. Uh, yeah. Might get him out of trouble. Always good. Yeah. Kiwi Nutsack attack. Yeah, he's a knobhead, but he's he's our knobhead. <laughs> yeah. He's a knobhead, but he's no bell end. I think yeah. we can establish. 
Here we go. Oh, man. And that is why I, I didn't love... I'm feeding back somewhere. Is that on yours, Flicky? It might be. Let me sort that out. And that is why I wasn't such a massive fan of leaving the mummies out to dry. Um, that's made this drive or this defense significantly more dangerous for Jimmy here. I, I yeah, not I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the mummies being there. Ah, Skuro. That's right, Team Fantastical. Forgive you. <laughs> we got this. We got this. <laughs> Okay. Is that any better? Yeah, that's better, mate. Cool. Yeah, so I was just saying, Flicky, that is why I was not a fan of leaving the mummies exposed like that, because he was going to hit one of the mummies all day. Uh, re regen working is great, isn't it? So It is. Yeah, huge regen. Um, it'll certainly help with the second half. Uh, losing a mummy this early in the first half is um, it's not great for the drive, obviously. Um, but yeah, at least it regened. So, I'm just thinking here whether Jim could almost do a wood elf play or an elf play where he absolutely rushes um, past the chaos line in the hope that obviously this, you know, the chaos coach fails to pick up the ball. Uh, mm -hmm. It's it's a risky one, but I, you know, I, I, I would quite like. I, I think that's what he might be doing. Mighty blow on an armor hit. Oh, he really, he really needs mighty blow to fire on armor eight here, doesn't he? He really uh, does. Yeah, it, it's going to be so key. Yeah, so um, he's. He, He's doing it to an extent. He's doing it the best he can. But I quite like the fact that he's running his ghouls over to the left because both the claw pommers, are, are, you know, a little bit far too much too far right. So yeah, I really like that. So Jimmy is protecting his ghouls here, <laughs> Matron. <laughs> is he not going to stand up those zombies on the LOS? Well, he's. It doesn't look like it, and he's just blocked the. The diagonal route through one, two, three. Oh no, it's, it doesn't matter. But I was just thinking for the foul coming in. But um, no, he's got to make a sideways step anyway, so it's not a problem. So it's a GFI to foul with that extra yeah. reroll. I'm pretty sure he'll put that in if needed. Oh, oh come on, ref! Of course, me and Flicky Flack are calling this right down the middle. Um, you know, perfect, unbiased commentary. <laughs> As always. <laughs> Honest. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it doesn't get the zombies up. <clears throat> I mean, we, see, we do see Jim be very pragmatic at times occasionally you know when he loses a big piece early he just tries to completely shut down the whole half and just say you know what i can't get anything i'm not going to put my players in harm's way yeah yeah and that's and that's not a bad way to play you know um losing the mummy there uh really means he's gonna struggle to stop the score here mm -hmm. um and as I said before, as I said during the setup, that is why I wasn't a massive fan of the mummies on the sides. But you know, we are where we are now. So, so hit on the white. Just pushes is nice. Um, I was about to say that's a GFI to get him safe. Uh, so Ooh. yeah, good spot. Oh, hello. He's just safe. Well, he's not safe there, actually. He could suck up a mighty blow hit. The problem is it would be with the mummy, and then you're leaving the mummy exposed. Um, it'll be interesting to see whether Jim takes the hit on the claw palm with the mummy, 
or whether he takes the hit on this Chaos Warrior and looks to either foul the Chaos Warrior or looks to hit Janet a monkey who is prone at the moment or yeah. stunned. It's not, uh, it's not one of his tackle warriors on that goal, so he might just rely on the... <clears throat> oh, he's giving him his, his actual carrier he's giving him, but he is bludge. Yeah, I was just thinking you could drop the ghoul in there and get hits on both. It's interesting that he left his ball carrier exposed. Oh, he's... Yeah. Could that be a slight bit of frustration we roll there? <laughs> I think, yeah, absolutely. But, you know, he got the extra one. He might as well use it. He's got four. Um, I'd have followed up there all day. I'd have followed up there. Just you're saying. pumping there, are you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd have, I'd have pumped the nuts off of him there. Um, you know, because then even if even if the pom, uh, even if you'd naturally broken armor and removed him without pom, then what you could have done was dodged back out, you know, and at worst, you're sucking an armor roll. Um, so, but I understand why Jim hasn't, doesn't follow up there yeah. or didn't follow up there, you know, you're, because you're following up into claw pom, aren't you? So... Uh, Jim, uh, Pedro, Jim won't Oh, Jesus. Do you know what? I just read that message and I didn't realise it was Pedro. If I'd realised it was Pedro, I wouldn't have given it any oxygen whatsoever, you know? <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. You know, ooh, good fireball, Jim. <laughs> there we go. Really needs a removal. No ref and a removal here. Just to make him feel better about this half. Because right now, knowing Jim, Jim will be thinking... This is shit. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't opt for the foul. Wow. Yeah. Thinking about maybe protect protecting his white. Protecting his white. Maybe thinking, well, I've lost the bribe, so now it's premium targets only, maybe. Save the DP for the Palmer. Yeah, but you've got... You got 13 players. You got an extra DP. I'm sorry, I hate that. But then I'm, you know, I, you know how much I love DP. Yeah. Um, uh, so. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan too. Uh, I think it, um, I think it's absolutely key on certain teams. You really can't compete without one at times, especially when you're down TV. Absolutely, it's such a leveler against Clawpom as well. Such yeah. a leveler against Clawpom. Here we go. Mummy's got to take one. Does. Insta oh, reroll. Down to one reroll from Shergant. Yeah. That's not great. I wouldn't have rerolled that. I wouldn't have rerolled that. I think that was a bad reroll. <laughs> Does he get rewarded for it? Just a stun. He doesn't follow either. He doesn't follow. What what the, what is the point of taking Pom if you're not gonna follow up? Okay? Come on guys. Sort it out. Seriously. <laughs> Good yeah, God. Especially with Chaos. Especially with Chaos, Flicky. I understand it with Undead, okay? And Jimmy's on the back foot here because Chaos are on top. But Chaos, I mean, not Pom in there? Behave. Purely from a percentage point of view, to to use the reroll and and then not Pom, that, that's kind of yeah, not yeah. good enough. Like, Claw Mighty on its own isn't good enough to, to use your second to last reroll on. Yeah. Oh, strategic master with chaos. I don't pile on. Grow a pair, pile on. Simple. <laughs> Honestly. Exactly, dog to the dog. Lack of rowdiness. Take your shirt off, wave it above your head, shirt copter, invoke. The spirit of stud, man, and get it done. Faymir, no, I don't. I don't think he's dropped the GG here. Um, I think he'll take a lot of comfort in the fact that whatever this dude's name is, I can't say it. It's like a fucking Zenchian name or something, isn't it? It's honestly, <laughs> honestly, Grunt, or whatever his name is, um, is down to one reroll. Uh, so I think he'll take a lot of comfort in that. 
obviously Jim doing what Jim does, rolling lots and lots of pushes. <laughs> yeah, he's doing what he does, but he's uh, he's recentered nicely. He needs to get these these guys out of trouble. Would you go for the? I, I was about to say, would you go for the straight three plus first, or would you go for the four plus with a reroll? Um, although I think there might be tackle on him actually. Yeah, there's tackle. Yeah, there's tackle on him. So yeah, no, it was straight three plus then straight. I wouldn't reroll that. No, I think you keep your reroll advantage. Try and uh, manufacture. What do we know? <laughs> now. You had a good think about it. Yeah. Got to try and dodge this ghoul out. Yeah, yeah. Got to try and dodge him out. So. Did he take babes, um, Flicky? Uh, no. Wizard, Bribe, and the DP zombie. Yeah, that's that's pretty rowdy, isn't it? Not taking babes as well. That's pretty rowdy. Jim's not a fan, though, is he? Um, he does not like babes. I guess on a team that doesn't have an app or there's, you know... Makes yeah, it a bit, uh, a okay. bit bad, but... yeah, I'd have liked to have seen one. I'd have liked to have seen one. But I, I, I may well have taken a bribe over it myself, so... Survives that hit. That's nice. Is Rackle standing up to the mighty blow? <clears throat> yeah, Satterfield. It's always in your mind, isn't it? If I take babes, all I'm getting is uh, is straight Kaz. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jim's in a bit of trouble here um, because he's getting guard locked. It is, isn't he? The mummy's the mummy's out of the drive now. You know, so. Yeah, he took the centre, but it's just been flooded with guard, as you say. And with only, only the one guard left now, he's lost two of his three. Both coming back, though. Well, so, hopefully. At this, at this point in the first half, if, if I was playing here, I'd be thinking the score the score is a dead set, right? The, defending yeah. this score is done. Yeah. Forget that. Keep the wizard, obviously. Maximise attrition. He has to. I would be. I'd be looking to target either the Claw Palms or the Chaos Warriors. Yeah, they're the only ones I would be interested in right now. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think. Um, yeah, I think you just try and pick a fight with uh, with as you know as few warriors as possible and just try and and get them. Yeah, yeah. Let the others bugger off, protect the ball. They do their thing, and uh, yeah, and you go for the rest. That being said, I don't actually think, yeah, I think that was the only viable target he had there. Uh, I wouldn't, yeah, yeah, he didn't re-roll that. That's the right decision. It would have been tempting to re-roll that. But I tell you what, this has actually been a really, really crappy half of Blood Bowl for Jim, hasn't it? It's, he's, has he rolled a power? I think he's rolled a couple, but. Yeah, just one on re-roll and one after, one after pushes. Yeah. But, Pushed with the Palmer and then got one with the Rackle, but, you know, nothing exciting. But there's a lot of game left in this, you know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call this guy Gant, okay, because I just... It, it, the, the first part of his name hurts hurts me. Um, it, <laughs> Fair enough. But, but Gant's, um, yeah, you know, he, scoring, scoring in the first half is fine. The attrition has been minimal. You know, um, if that KO comes back, yeah, zero attrition so far. And I realised I just said that, Flicky. Okay, and now Jimmy's going to get the shit kicked out of him, mini because I've just mentioned there's been minimal attrition here. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, we're all right. We'll take stuns. We'll take stuns all day. Commentator's curse. Now this, um, yeah, this mummy's an interesting one. Whether he. Uh decides to do anything with him. He's put his DP way on the other side, so he won't be fouling the mummy. This Might is, actually uh... better for Jim to go down to the block rather than, you know, if he takes the block, he'll get blitzed. Yeah. I tell you what, this guy's turn five. 
and he isn't even on his own um, yeah. LF. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, I mean, he had plenty of space to move down into. Loads plenty of space. Of players to go with him, too. He's decided yeah. to come back. Yeah, not a fan of that at all. I was thinking of ways Jim could get him to come back round, you know, into the mummy side of the pitch, and he's done it. He's done it himself. Yeah, he's done it for him. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of that. Why, why not take the right hand side? It was uncontested, you know. Um, I, I get, I get that Gant wants to do attrition, but. Don't, he can't. He's pausing no, he there as if he's going to re roll it. He's nah, not. Nah, nah, he's never going to re roll that. He's never going to yeah, re roll that. Don't, don't waste three seconds. Make it look like you're, you're having a decision. <clears throat> yeah, I don't like that. I don't like the way Gant played that at all. Um, turn five, he's not even on his own LOS. Uh, yeah. Turn six, suddenly that, that timer is becoming very short, very quick, isn't it? And he's yeah. only movement sticks, you know, so I'm, I'm not a fan of that. I think I would have, I would have made some progress. Um, you know, being a chaos player myself, it's very easy to get caught short with the timer. Yeah, I mean, they're faster than a lot of the slow teams, but they're still, you know, there's still no elves. You, you can't mess yeah. about with them. And as ever, our very knowledgeable Team Fantastic crowd are pointing out, you know, Mummy was out of the drive and he moved back towards him from sick as eggs. Wilking, yeah, should have moved further forward, in my opinion. Um, uh, Russ is, is still stoppable. Yeah, absolutely, he is still stoppable now. You know, this, this guy might be forced into doing something a little bit silly. And uh, the further you've got to go in a short amount of time, the more rerolls become important. And yeah. uh, just the one. Stop rolling shit, Jim. Okay, seriously. <laughs> Stop rolling oh, bullshit. Yeah, come on, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Into the gym, pal. That's a cheeky little one D to finish off the turn there. Uh, so this mummy is going to have to take one for Team Fantastic right now in the crowd. So get yeah. ready to catch him, boys. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, if he does, he, he's going to have to invest a few players into surfing him. Um, it'll be interesting to see if Gant can resist the surf. Yeah, it's a, um, well, two more now just to make the two dice block, isn't it? Yeah. 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 And then well, you've got to deal with either the mummy. You've so he's either got to deal with the mummy, or he's got to blitz the white. Um, I don't hear. Yeah, oh, yeah. Actually, I don't hear this. He blitzes him with, with palm, and if he gets him, he just takes the power. If he doesn't, then the warrior surfs, and then it's it's slightly less players taken up than doing it with two blocks. Yeah, I, I don't hear that. I oh, didn't even need to side. I, do you know what? I'm 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 not loving the. I'm not pissing on this guy just for the sake of it. You know, I, I, oh, I no. do, you know, despite wanting to want wanting Jimmy to win, of course, as we both do. Um, I'm not loving the fact that this guy has committed himself so deep to a side right now. He didn't need to. He had control of this hat, didn't he? Yeah. You know, he, he could have been away, and and now he's committing himself to the far left. Uh, yeah, I. Strength four claw palm is a really nice player, isn't it? It really <laughs> it's just, is. It's a mummy killer. It really yeah. is. Not this turn. Oh, nice. Jim will feel good about that. Jim will feel good about that. Yeah, that's a little win for Jim there. So I'm wondering whether Jim can actually... I, I hate to say it, but I'm wondering if Jim can actually throw up a form of elf screen here. Yeah, I mean, he's given him that chance because he's compacted himself so much yeah. that, you know, every every player is in the wide zone. Yeah. Bar two. And I'm guessing one of them is going to go over and join them. 
Yeah, I mean, he had the whole right hand side of the pitch. It Shut was, up, he... Space Cadet. Seriously, fireball to maybe bust the screen. Behave yourself, honestly. <laughs> Welcome as well. Welcome, Space Cadet. How you doing, mate? Hey, <laughs> First, stop talking nonsense. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, so what would it be? What? So you're looking at the four-man fireball centering on Days of Chaos. Read the whole thing. Seven, now, right? with the force of... Uh, yeah. Oh, is it? All right. Okay. Fair enough. I just saw that single comment and, you know, it was a cheap... It was a cheap... Uh, opportunity to abuse you <laughs> <laughs> which must right. be taken immediately <laughs> of course you know <laughs> me, me and space have a long rich history of um bantering with each other so uh we're, but there's there's a lot of love in it you know there's a lot of love when we're calling each other knobheads that there, there's love involved so <laughs> no jim jim would um tantrum you're absolutely right jim would very rarely fireball yeah I don't think he needs to air. I think he can throw up a pretty decent elf screen here. Yeah, I'll be looking to blitz that lead warrior, won't he? Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Space Cadet. Jim Jim won't I don't think Jim will entertain using the wizard even if things go his way here. So, end of this turn, maybe uh, dodging Tony plays poorly, the white out, because he's not doing anything there. Yeah, I think he's going to have to. Two turns left for Chaos. Jim has to get as much stuff in the way as he can. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, then that white dodges down. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah, just below. Yeah, right there. Just below the DP. Sorry, I just had to go AFK there for a second. I've just missed Jim rolling a couple more million pushes, have I? You have? <laughs> yeah, more pushes. Oh my god, Jim. Ah, oh. uh, yeah, can't reroll that. Um, so, let's take stock at turn six, turn seven. Um, the fact that Jim has rolled an absolute bag of spanners this whole half, and Gant is in a position where he's got to do some work. And, you know, I, yeah. he's, in, he's in a bad position given the fact that he's had the lion's share of this half, isn't he? He certainly, I mean, yeah, he's put himself in in all sorts of trouble here. Yeah. Now, Space Cadet, if if um, Gant can only get one or two Beastmen through in support of the ball carrying Beastmen, now might be the opportunity to fire a bolt on because I think I think he's going to end up sideline caging it. Yeah. He's going to end up sideline caging it. Oh, that's fantastic push there. Finally, we get. Uh... A bag of spanners, fame here. It's a bit. I, I guess it's a bit of a British term, you know, um, which means a bag of shit. I guess <laughs> I should have just said a bag of shit, shouldn't I? <laughs> I'm trying to swear less for Jimmy Stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've dropped an F bomb or a C bomb yet, which I'm not going to. So uh... no, I haven't heard one. You've been very restrained so far. <laughs> Look at this. Has he given himself two GFIs to score? He certainly has. No. He really, really has. From that position, he's given himself double G. And that's assuming Jim can't get enough in the way. I hate it. I hate it. Ça sent la bonne grosse poignade. Yeah, Brian makes. Yeah, um, yeah. I should have just said bag of shit, shouldn't I? Um, to avoid the whole spanners conversation. <laughs> yeah, bag of shit. Big bucket of ones. That's what Jimmy's brought to the game so far. This is horrible, isn't it, Space Cadet? This is horrid. Is he is is he baiting the wizard? 
not on turn seven. You don't bait wizards on turn seven. No, surely not. Now, now I'm thinking Elf Screen is a significant um, option here. Deal with this dirty player wrestle guy um, at, at the bottom of the pitch. Because, I mean, it's not even... It's not even like you... Like the double GFI is bad enough, but the fact that he hasn't got a sideways movement to get through, not one. Everything has to be forward progress, so it's so much easier to, to get you guys out in front as long as you get some decent dice, which has not been Jim's forte. If Jim was ever tempted to fire a fireball, fireball now would be the time. <laughs> now would be the time. Yeah. I, I just, just can't see it. I just can't see it. No. No, Jim's too good for that. I love this. Free up that zombie. Yeah. Uh, he's going to have to dodge the ghouls, though, and he's going to have to dodge the ghouls against tackle, unless he, yeah, opts, for one, unless he opts for the 1D here. Got to get that double screen on the edge, hasn't he? Still two GFIs to score here. You know, what the hell? Oh no. Side step. So I yeah. like where that that ghoul is at risk, but again, you can't make a blood bowl omelet without breaking a few heads, can you? So if he dodges this ghoul here, that's huge. Yeah. I think that's that's the nil nil if this ghoul dodges, it's a three plus. Yeah. And I would put him I would put him one more square down. I would. Got it. Yeah, you'd have him one one below? Yeah, I don't hate there. <clears throat> I don't hate there either. Um, actually, thinking about it, that might be a better square than the one I'm suggesting. The well, one, the, like the square below. The zombie's in the exact diagonal. So, yeah, I think I think yeah. there makes it much harder. If he's yeah. one down... Yeah, forget what I said. Yeah, forget what I said. A, a further square down would be crap. Okay, so in hindsight... I take that back. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I was uh, I was thinking about the re-roll actually when he before he made the dodges. Like, do you you know you commit to the stop or do you? Oh, okay, Jim's just brought him up one. I don't hate that either. I don't hate that either, to be honest. I think Jim was in such a good position that I think yeah you commit to the stop, don't you, rather than holding it for the. Yeah. The one turner, which is an outside chance anywhere, no matter what. Do you know what? I think I like that even more. I'm with Crystal Hunter. I'm with Crystal Hunter. Jim, GFI and like a boss. <laughs> yeah, his standard GFIs. <laughs> it's always nice to see Jim's dice log at the end when it's six past yeah. and four field. Well, so this guy, this scant guy, he's basically spaffed this drive up the wall, isn't he? Uh, he really has. He really, um, really has, and he, and he didn't get anything for it. You know, he came back around trying to beat up the mummy, and there he still, yeah, still lives. Yeah, he can blitz through the mighty blow white, um, but whatever he, um, he'd have to do that with. This Chaos Warrior, um, Chaos Machine, imaginatively named Chaos Warrior. <laughs> or does he do it with the ball and then on the follow it's a three plus out, but obviously. Oh, no. What What's going on here? I, I'm not sure. Huh? Is that warrior going to do the blitz through? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Oh, no, he's not. Wow. Oh, he's. Push. That's Come on, baby. That's 
stepping in to tackle. Yeah. No! no. Not like that. Not like that. Behave yourself. Honestly. Oh, my God. That hurts. That is. Oh, that's just disgusting, isn't it? When you play... I mean, let's be honest. You played that horrifically, and you just roll five or six dice. Like, yeah, I'll still score. Fuck it. No Team matter. Fantastic has just been kicked in the plums from behind. Yeah, we're rolling on the floor in agony. Okay, honestly, it's not good. Yeah, it? that's so deflating. It really is. <laughs> wow. Better lucky than good, eh? Better lucky than good. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, Adon. <laughs> yeah, Chandra was, um, it, yeah, the blitz through with the ball was the right one, but the fact that it came off when, you know, Jim had put as good a defence is way more of a defence than he ever deserved the chance to do. I'll get it then, should I bench oh, Ben? Blimey. I just hope Jim can bounce back from that one. Well, we, we sort of as we were before um, Gant decided to really try and fuck up his own score. You know, oh God, look, that's my first F-bomb of the day, okay? I'm just saying. I'm probably allowed one or two more, I think. But I think um, this, is the, this is the situation where you're definitely allowed one, absolutely. <laughs> um, so we're, we are where we, you know, we're, we're back to Jim has got to really lay on some attrition and score in his own drive now, you know? Um, and he's got a wizard in hand. Um, I can see I can see Jim doing an eight-turn score and keeping the wizard. Yeah. You might need a little bit of help along the way, a bit of attrition, but you know, armor it yeah. against Mighty Blow. Yeah. It, um, it should happen. We should lose a couple of beastmen here. It's, you know, just depends what comes back the other way as well. Yeah, absolutely, Odont. It's a you know, it's a kick in the teeth, but uh, he's certainly not. He's certainly not done. Do you know what? It's it's done now. So Jim's got to put it to the back of his mind. Not let him affect the rest of this game. There's still a lot to play for here. You know, the, the attrition is next to nothing. So Jim is really in this still. The chaos could have run wild on Jimmy's team there, couldn't they? And they, they didn't. Yeah, they could, especially, you know, that the snowball from that losing that first mummy. But uh, I think Jim played it well, actually, just sending everyone over to one little section of the pitch, getting some fouls in. Um, and then when that didn't work, you know, he recentered. I think he did as much as he could. Oh, absolutely. Given given the fact that Jim rolled awful dice. Yeah. Um, to... To corral Gant into, you know, into that side of the pitch. And I did say around turn six, turn seven, he's going to go hard on the sideline, which I, you, which I thought was an awful idea. You, know? you called it on turn five, to be honest. Well, yeah, absolutely. I don't know what he was doing. Um, Jim, uh, blitz, behave, game. Uh, uh, why, why do any of us even play Blood Bowl? Seriously. Why, why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> Honestly. I mean... It's better than turn it. It's better turn it than turn nine. But exactly, still. yeah. I actually, in hindsight, although I've just said that, I don't think Jim hadn't set up for the one turn here. Um, yeah, I don't see. I don't see no. a one turn here at all. So no, I didn't. I think without the reroll, especially. Look at it. His tiny little balls. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Yourself. Honestly. Tell me he's going to blitz with a claw palm here. Tell me he's going to blitz with a claw palm. You. Oh, Good God. You've got Good to. God. Surely. I missed what Jimmy. I hope Jimmy's abusing him right now. Okay. Okay. Not that I'm a toxic guy or anything. But yeah, behave yourself. Seriously. Yeah, Get there he goes. Both his claw palmers. There they go. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Bring in shame. To us, legitimate chaos coaches, absolutely wilking. Oh, it's for a wrestler. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, he gets a wrestle. Oh, I rerolled it. Oh, no. 
Les sorciers appellent ça l'énergie cinétique. Oh wow, that, and that hurts. Says Jimmy, did Jimmy field both DPs? No, he only fielded one DP, and it's stunned. Ah. Jesus Christ, this lucky, game. Lucky, lucky boy, this Shergant. Oh, Gant, as we'll call him. We'll, well, I'll go with Gant as well. Uh, sorry, Team and Taylor. I, um, I'm actually watching the game, and I'm sure Flicky Flack is watching the game in real time, um, using Blood Bowl Two. Because if we used um, if we used Jimmy's stream, we'd be 20 seconds behind everything. Uh, so unfortunately, we can't see his chat in game either. So um, because he's maybe he's strategically positioned the Champions Cup logo <laughs> in the way yeah. in case he is abusing this guy right now. <laughs> yeah, there's no way for us to see their chat unless yeah Jimmy moved that but I think he's uh I don't think no he's... yeah I'd like to point out that Jimmy isn't the type of guy normally that throws abuse at other coaches if things are going bad he's not that type of guy i.e not me um you know so yeah he wouldn't be abusing him Jim Jim's not that type of cat he really ain't me however I'd be laying it on <laughs> Hey, he just nice. caught that. Go on, Flicky. <laughs> now foul the ball. Come on. Use McNaughton to foul here. Come on. You know you want to. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, go, go for the last one with Flicky. <laughs> Yeah, Jimmy Lucker confirmed the dom. Zombie catch. Here we go, it's McNaughton. McNaughton nice. getting it done. That's a nice player. 50 50 to get him back. The old Scottish kiss getting it done. Oh, yes. Got it. Well, did Jimmy actually get something out of this game after eight turns? <laughs> a block guard, stand firm beast. Well done, McNaughton. Sadly, to uh, just to balance that out, Jim, Jim's ghoul did not come back from two rolls. Yeah, that, that's a bit of a pain. Um, that being said, you know, he's still got two really nice ghouls on the pitch. Um, and... Ironically, Gantz, um, a lot of Gantz's first half was based around Janitor Monkey, that KO'd player locking up a mummy. So, it would be interesting to see how he plays without that Stan Firm player. God, I hate Stan Firm so much. Yeah, I hate it. Stan, Stan Firm is so difficult to, to play around. It's a great skill, isn't it? It's a great skill. It and really is. You Used right. Like the crane technique in Karate Kid, no can defense. Just saying. <laughs> so we've got some nice skillless beastmen to hopefully get some attrition. We really need to get the ball rolling early here. Yeah. It was not an illegal kick, Skuro. Honestly. Don't don't make me time you out. Even though I've not got any moderation powers or anything, um, you're probably a mod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> just screw off. You wouldn't mind. Just time yourself out, please. Thank yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. How's the game going, by the way? Is it worth uh, is it worth missing this one for? Yeah, you timed me out about three times in half an hour. Okay, touchback. Happy days. <clears throat> so Jimmy's going to absolutely be in no hurry to score here. No hurry at all, unless he goes absolutely crazy on the attrition. Mm. 
Okay, we start with a stun. Let's try and work our way upwards. So we've got a stun. Let's have Keo and the cards from the next two, please. Come on, now we're talking. Come on, Jimmy. Let's start throwing some hurting bombs. There we go, there's the Keo. Incoming cars now. Yeah, no one's a blitz, so uses the palm. Makes it a 3D, very smart gym. Something I don't know. All there. I do love the piling on animation with whites. It's really cool. And mummies, it's cool. And they all cross the arms. Yeah. Like It's like um, the old tombstone um, tombstone death dive, isn't it? The, oh, what's his name does on... Um, oh, God. Skuro know who I'm on about. The, yeah, lad, with the, the lad with the skateboard, I, whose name escapes me. Okay, so we got the one removal and two stuns. That'll have to do for now. Darby Allen, that's the lad. He's he's a good lad as well. Shawnee. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you playing Shawnee tonight? Are you playing after this? Oh my god! Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm supposed to be playing him now. Okay. But obviously, I said that I would do this. Um, I'm supposed to be playing. Uh, an OCC game very shortly as well. Right. But, you know, <laughs> I've, I've agreed to commentate on this. So, you know. <laughs> you triple, book, triple booked yourself. Yeah, as I normally do. As I normally do. Uh, I'll, I'll see this through now. I'll see this through. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to put in the OCC forum that I'm delayed for half an hour. They'll either understand or they won't, won't they? Fair enough. So another turn, another no, uh, declining to palm. I think he's palmed once, hasn't he? With two palmers. Yeah. Men are disgusting. Palmed once all game. Now I'm not an advocate of palming every turn without thinking, but still, once. <clears throat> Especially given, the, especially given the amount of guard and strength that Gantz got over Jimmy, you know. Yeah. You'd expect him to be able to palm and defend at the same time, wouldn't you? With, yeah. Uh, with that advantage. Yeah. <laughs> Burner, it's how I roll. Being banned, being perma banned, not my first rodeo. <laughs> not my first rodeo. <laughs> yeah, here we go. This is an interesting one. Oh, can't re-roll it, sadly. Yeah, that's that's not ideal. He wanted to be safe on the floor, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, Tom. Absolutely, Tony. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't hate the dodge there. Yeah. It's better than taking uh, a claw hit. Yeah. Every turn, every chance, eh, Tony? It's how I roll. <laughs> So just while there's a, a slight lull in proceedings, you said you were in in three leagues. Obviously, there's SFL. Yep. And then yep. which teams do you have in the other two? I often get confused as to who you play in, in which one. Okay, so I'm Wood Elf in SFL, which has been easy mode all season. Um, I'm Chaos in OCC. Um, I'm just about to get promoted to Division 1 in OCC. I'm unbeaten in 20 games, and I have a team, a Chaos team with a 21... 11 free record which is just friggin insane um and i've just been promoted to division one of rebel um where i've made the quarterfinals of the playoffs and i finished uh third in division two so yeah i've just been promoted to division one and i'm chaos dwarfs in that division so yeah i'm having a pretty good run in leagues at the moment and 
I'm, I'm top of the I'm top of our division in SFL, and I've already qualified um, for the playoffs. Although um, I think school dudes are trying to manufacture a way to perma ban me. <laughs> 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 yeah, Team and Taylor, no one cares. You're right. Yeah, I've seen a few of your league games recently, and um, yeah, it's been it's been really good to watch. Oh, bless you, mate. Bless you. I'm playing some pretty solid Blood Bowl at the moment. You know, as solid as the game allows you to play, because like this game, if you roll nothing but ones and twos, you're in for a bad day, and yeah. And a lot of us, a lot of us experienced veteran Blood Bowlers forget that. You know, um, it's still a friggin' dice game that's going to break your heart. At any opportunity yeah yeah it really yeah, does Master Zen, um, Space Cadet's analysis of the game is pretty spot on there to be fair <laughs> it's been total garbage <laughs> <laughs> but once again right positionally this guy is trash okay and I'm, I'm saying that with the most affection I can utter trash Utter trash. He's he's over, you know, he, he's overcommitted on the left, as far as I'm concerned. Opened up a channel on the right for Jimmy. There we go. That's oh, what we're yes. Yeah, absolutely. And the fact that Jim doesn't even need his blitz to, to make any progress down that side means he's free to blitz this guard warrior. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, 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 I don't want to, you know, actually, um, I watched, I watched Jim play, oh, the Blitz Pit. Got to be honest, right? You know how much I love Jim. I'll take a bullet for the guy. But I actually thought he played pretty poorly in his Blitz Pit game, and one of them in particular. Um, I was pulling my hair out with some of the stuff that was going down, you know? So, uh, I may be an asshole, but I, I'm an equal opportunities asshole. You know, I'll call it, I'll call it as I see it. And even though I'm really good mates with someone, if I still think they play trash, I'll tell them. So and and but Jim hasn't played trash this game. He's played significantly better than his opponent yeah. this game. His dice have been significantly worse, and you can argue that it's the dice that matter, not your skill. <laughs> I think on yeah, I I would agree with that on individual games, absolutely. Oh you know, yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Individual games like this. You know, you need you need to have skill and you need to have decent dice. Um, over a hundred game stretch, then you know the the guys like Jimmy Fantastic, Purple Chester, Don. You know, I nearly said Space Cadet then, but clearly I don't mean Space Cadet. <laughs> 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 you know, people like that will shine through. You know, um, Space Cadet might win twenty. You know, um, if he plays Norse five. Yeah, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I love Space Cadet. Can I just say I love Space Cadet? Yeah, me too. Big fan of Space Cadet. He's like um, he's like a really angry Buzz Lightyear. You, you know, like those, you know like, no, he's he's like a really angry Woody. You know, when you pull the ripcord and it goes, "Hi, I'm Woody." All you have to do is say something to Space Cadet that you don't agree with, and just watch him go on his stream. <laughs> yes. It is amazing. I love it. Honestly, I am a fan. <laughs> All right, let's see what Gant can do about uh, this push down the right. Because unlike unlike Gant, Jimmy, you know, saw the space wide open and took it, whereas um, Gant decided not to. Oh, here we go. Double skulls into pushes. In to three three more of these in three yeah, absolutely, Space Cadet. Um, I agree with you on that one. He is playing this this Chaos team horribly. It's making me cringe. It disgusts me. I have no time for it. Burn him. <laughs> if he watches this back, uh, he, he's probably not going to follow me, is he? <laughs> um, I hated that reroll as well. I hated the reroll. Yeah, second half. It's, you know, looking likely for overtime. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, right? Every time somebody says kick equity, I want to punch him repeatedly in the face. 
I'll oh, bear I that in mind. I will yeah. not say the phrase. Oh my god. Oh, kick equity. You know, it, yeah, it winds me up so much, honestly. <laughs> it's actually it's sort of become a meme now, isn't it? I can handle it being a meme. Yes, you know, it has, yeah. Oh, anything that the likes of uh, Shawnee or Chugs here is more than once becomes a meme. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy finally rolling a few pals, which is nice. He is. Just wondering if Jim can hit that strength four here. I don't know if he can. Maybe, maybe freeing up, maybe hitting the blodge Chaos Warrior to free up the DP so you could um, stamp on the Chaos Warrior that's prone. Oh, oh. Yeah, done that way, <laughs> yeah, Jimmy playing sensibly here. Um, right, Flicky. Do you think Jimmy might score around turn 13 here and look for the wizard to break his offense? Yeah, that's a good call. I like that. I like that mummy positioning. I think that GFI was necessary. Oh, finds the power on the bludger. Uh, Dio likes the term kick out critique because he refuses to acknowledge that two coaches rolling a dice to determine a game outcome is a dice roll. Uh, do you know what? I like Dio, right? But he's a bell end, okay? There are no dice. Shut up, you massive melt. Seriously. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Fuck off back into the Matrix, Theo. Seriously. Yeah, Jimmy's really disengaged nicely there. It looked like, you know, it looked like there might be a bit of trouble on there. Maybe from a less experienced coach like myself, I could have got myself into trouble there. But, you know, Jimmy did that really nicely. Yeah. Um, I don't, Adon. But it's just one of those It's just one of those self-righteous phrases to, you know, oh, look how big my bollocks are. You know, it's one of them, isn't it? It's one of them, oh, there are no dice. You know, you just will say, I think I'm cleverer than everyone else. You know, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, Faymir. I, I, a lot of my sentences are constructed that way, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they are, Faymir. Yeah. <laughs> but always said with love. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's all, it's all tongue-in-cheek shit. It is. It, you know? It's all bad um, Yeah, I really like that little step forward as well from Jimmy. Puts himself in scoring range just in case he has yeah. to. Like you say, he's got the wizard. He's seen what Gan can do on offense. He's seen he'll he'll have a chance, I think. Yeah, Space Cadet, I agree with you. Um, although I put it out there about the turn 13 score with a wizard on defense, I don't like it. Um, you know, I, I was just really, you know, um, putting the options out there, but I, I don't like it. I, I would rather, I would rather see Jimmy go for, you know, the turn 15, 16 score and then keep the wizard in check. Because if you win the toss, you're in, you know, you're going to, Jim's good enough to score in two turns. If you don't win the toss, then you got the wizard in play. Yeah, absolutely, Space Cadet. I agree with you. As I say, it was just it was just an option, isn't it? And I, you can rest assured that Jimmy will consider all his options. Um, so I talked over a blitz um, from the strength four there. Why didn't he blitz with his tackle? Um, no idea. Blitz on the white. Uh, oh, did he blitz the white? Did he? Ah, yeah. I, I, See, I would see. I would have blitzed the ghoul there with the tackler. Um, the white, the white was in a worse position than the ghoul. Yeah. So yeah, I don't like that at all. So he's left Jimmy the score, which is, I think, fair enough. Because GM, as you said, it's a, it's too early for Jim to to be taking the score. 
Yeah. And he absolutely has to. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, Faymir. Um, this guy is able to stay in the game because of the weight of the skills on his players. Yeah, let's you know, let's not forget. Jim was giving up 400 TV here. Yeah. That is a significant TV disadvantage. You know, on paper, this chaos team does Jimmy. You know, um, but I think I'm not going out on a limb by saying that Jimmy is the significantly better player here. And I'm not just saying that because Jimmy's our boy. You know, Jimmy has played better. This guy lucked out to score in the first half. Made it really difficult for himself and rolled dice. Yeah, Jimmy hasn't had a, um, a very easy path in these playoffs. It's great to see Jimmy in the playoffs, isn't it? Absolutely amazing to see Jim playing Blood Bowl, to be fair, you know. Um, we all support Jimmy in playing other games, but, you know, Blood Bowl is his bread and butter, and that's really what we want to see him play. Yeah, absolutely. Nodding along here happily to you, Calcium. Yeah, that's fine, mate. I'm oh, hovering over the mute button myself, so <laughs> I got I got kids invading. <laughs> yeah, I just had one. Just finished bath time, coming to tell me all about it. <laughs> oh, that was a little risky from Jim, but he got it. Uh, I Jim love that uh, that push onto the zombie and freeze up his own mummy. I absolutely love that. Jim's got to be looking for the foul here. Yeah. He's got to be a little bit careful, though, because this 1018 monkey is is free. Um, so he's got to be careful he doesn't leave this guy a 2D because sixes do happen. So... Yeah, he'd love to be able to get someone back to mark him. It's a GFI from the DP to do it. Uh, yeah. The, the, the Lorna DP. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it's a tricky one. He's committed to it now, though. He is. I understand why Jimmy has switched here. Um, because, you know, um, Gant is doing what Gant has done the whole game. And that is position really crap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, so I, I get why he's done that right. So Jimmy has is, is seen the threat from this 1018 monkey and dealt with it. Yeah, it's going to have to be just a two assist, isn't it? Space, yeah. Yeah, I just can't afford that last... Uh, it's a that, double GFI with a loner for a free assist, and he ain't going to take that. I would imagine, yeah, the zombie's just going to drop back. So I think Jim would be happy to score in two from here, should he need to. Yeah. Okay, doesn't get him. Well, this guy, this guy is so overcommitted again on the other side. How can you commit, overcommit on two different sides in the same half? That's <laughs> actually an achievement in itself, isn't it? <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> oh, nice little um, goal dodge at the end there. And Jim's going to sacrifice a couple of zombies and his lesser white. Um, to keep them guys over that side, especially yeah. the Warriors. Who won't be able to react. Oh, good God, this Chaos coach is making my eyes bleed. Honestly, how not to play Chaos? Uh, there is a 1D on the blodge carrier. You're right. No, not now. Uh, actually, no, he can still get a 1D. Yeah, um, just needs to base the, the zombie, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, it would involve basing the zombie, but... I think Jim's left that strategically anyway. Um, I'd, I'd play the one in six there. Oh, God, Famer, don't say that, okay? Clearly, I'm just commenting on this guy from a Blood Bowl standpoint. He's probably a really nice guy, okay? <laughs> I'm just, it's just Blood Bowl observations. It's no judgment on him as a human being other than <laughs> within a Blood Bowl context. God's sake, honestly. Yeah, and it. 
And there's one thing being really good at ladder and really good at high TV chaos within ladder. And then there's a there is a step up. There is a definite step up when you go to Jimmy Fantastic level. Yeah, yeah. Anyone that says Jimmy isn't tier one, you know, is an idiot or has a little axe to grind, as far as I'm concerned. Do you know what? Jealousy yeah. is an ugly emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's, Jimmy's biggest problem when it comes to um, playing Blood Bowl is himself. Yeah. Uh, he, he, you know, he, he get, uh, my only criticism of Jimmy is he quite often gets really down a little bit quick. And I understand why. Okay, we've all been there, haven't we? But, yeah. You know, I, that's my only criticism. But from a strategic point of view, Jimmy has forgotten more about Blood Bowl than most people will ever learn. Yeah, okay, that, 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 that's just a fact. Yeah. You know, me, and, me and Jimmy were having conversations about Blood Bowl back in 2009 before half the people, you know, even he ever heard of it. You know, so, um, you know, uh, we, oh, we were, you know, Christ. Jimmy was, Jimmy was an authority on Blood Bowl then. Yeah, his um, his pattern recognition is is really really impressive. He he just sees the moves. He he sees the shapes because he's seen them all before. He's played them all before. <laughs> yeah, he he just knows Blood Bowl. Yeah, clearly clearly Space Cadet, there are anomalies in Blood Bowl, right? And your record against Jimmy is one of those anomalies. Okay, it's like Tales of the Unexplained or some shit. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I want to see the silhouetted girl dancing in the background. Remember that old UK series, Tales of the Unexplained? You know, um, that, that was always really spooky when you was a kid. I'm showing my age now. But um, yeah, that, <laughs> there are anomalies in Blood Bowl. <laughs> and that's one of them. <laughs> that being yeah, well, said, I, it's a great record. I think it's starting to come back to what you just said about like Jimmy's worst enemy is himself. When he it plays is, Space yeah. Cadet, and especially if he loses a man early, that's it. So, uh, standard yeah, Null, standard Space yeah. Cadet, yeah. etc. You, you, um, you get into a mindset, don't you? When you play, we all have bogey players, you know? And, you know, you, you play a guy. Ironically, Jimmy is one of my bogey players because I can't kill her instinct, Jimmy. When I, so, when I played you a few weeks back, um, I, I was, I was going to make you pay by scoring as many touchdowns as possible. You know, and so yeah. I had that sort of touchdown killer instinct. But with Jimmy, because, you know, I've known him for so long and, you know, we're really good buddies. I hate playing people I like. So obviously in the SFL, it's a little bit different. But, you know, generally I can get up. I can get up for playing anyone and really rinsing their team, making them cry. But yeah, well, people I like, and you, you're in that as well. You know, you just, yeah, when you said, oh, I, I, I want to try hard this game um, because I need a result, I'm thinking, right, fuck you. You're you know, never going to let me forget that again. <laughs> I, I'm not going to let you forget that. Talk to me next time, damn it. Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to me, Goose. <laughs> yeah, that was um, that was a mistake on my part, but it was very impressive from you. That was a uh, that was a nice lesson in not to play elves and what elves can do against you. It was it was pretty crazy. No, let's let's make no bones about it. My dice were good, you know. Um, if elves roll a two plus, that, that's good dice, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I've finally taken the leap. I've um, quite literally, um, I've start I've started the little woody team this season, and yeah, yeah. they're. Fun. They are fun to play. The thing with Wood Elves is you're that much closer to destruction than other teams, like Skaven as well, you know. So I've actually got a, a lot of admiration for Crystal Hunter, um, you know, that habitually runs Elf teams. Um, I, I, I don't know how he does it because I can't handle the AV7, I'll be honest. I can't handle it. Um, so... Yeah, I went through a phase of, um, of just playing, you know... Uh, playing all bash just constantly um yeah and i just wanted to mix things up uh, and give yeah. them a go and i haven't felt the destruction yet because i'm quite early days and you know i haven't run into too much mighty blow yet but i'm not sure how i'll handle it when it comes but we'll uh we'll see you know what, Blicky? we're all one game away from getting wrecked yeah every last blood bowl player is one game away from getting wrecked it may not be the next game. <laughs> so uh, while we were just having a little Blood Bowl chat of our own, we've had yeah. a self 
removal. KO'd himself with his yep. strength for killer, so that's nice. Very welcome. This is um this is actually again Gantz made it pretty easy for Jim here to just stall this out. I love Jimmy's switch. I love the switch. I yeah. thought it was a really, really good play, you know. So but this is yeah, switch was fantastic, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, 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 really nice play. Uh dicing is one turn away. Ain't that the truth, Famer? Ain't that the truth? Yeah, Crystal Hunter, and that, and oh hello, he's got, he's got to set, he's got to suck that up. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Experience from Jim. Eating the, eating the double skulls, very nice. I can, I can kick out gritty retain. <laughs> Stop it! Oh my god. <laughs> Good works, Viz. <laughs> it's like a twist of the knife. Yeah, yeah. I'm like anger rising. <laughs> <laughs> uh pedro yes um jimmy still has a 13 man bench um did he have 14 players to start with no so, he hasn't he hasn't taken a single perm that's still yeah. full bench one ko hopefully that'll come back uh gant's what? got one perm three ko's that he needs to get back do you know what given the dice gant had first half I'd be finishing teams with those guys. I'd be finishing teams. Seriously. I, I, I hate the way he's played the second half. He outstrengths Jimmy. He outguards Jimmy. Why isn't he getting in Jimmy's face, making Jimmy roll dice? I hate it. Yeah, I mean, he only lost one off the line as well, didn't he? It's not like Jim's been able to yeah. power him this second half. Jim's just picked him off just every other turn. Keep rolling the dice. Keep rolling the powers. He's just played smart. I'm, yeah, very impressed. And now he's chucking a lot of guys in when it's too late. Yeah, way too late. I mean, you know, Jim's not going to do much now. He's not going to risk... I won't say it, but he's not going to risk a reroll roll um, at this stage. No, no, absolutely not. Because uh, as I know all too well, quads are a thing. <laughs> yeah. as, we, as we all know, we've all been there, haven't we? We've all done it. Yeah. Yeah, turn eight, turn 16. You think, oh, I'll just throw this 2D block with mighty blow I try and get a bit of attrition or a couple of spp before i score and you quad yeah now if there was a really tasty piece there available maybe but i i don't think jim's gonna do it nope here we go. 1-1. One, one. Uh, barring a miracle. He doesn't have Riot Stadium, so... There is that outside chance that um, a Riot and two turn can happen. Yeah, I can't see it. But, you know, yeah. Uh, if it was Wood Elves... I would set up for anti-riot. The fact that it's chaos and this guy hasn't really shown anything in, with regards to positioning, um, I wouldn't be overly worried about it. But nonetheless, Jimmy doesn't need to do anything except backline here. Yeah. Sadly, Jim's ghoul still refusing to wake up. Uh, the killer comes back. But Gant's still with two out, including that stand firm. But uh, that's a shame, because that Strength 4 killer is a uh, a real pain. Yeah, it would have been nice if he'd stayed out. But... Jimmy still got the Wizard, which is great. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, there was... Looking at these two teams, looking at the TV gap, that Wizard is often needed... To, to force through the score, but Jim never even looked in in trouble in that in that second half. He he had it under control. If you'd said to Jim, um, "Come turn 16, you would have had one player KO'd, taking that all day. Hello. Oh oh oh! See you later, Doctor Monkey. Wow. Off you go. 
power apo. Okay. What do you think of that? Um, yeah, I don't hate that. I've got to be honest. Yeah. Um, you know, winning is more important than saving players right now. Making sure that guy is on the pitch for the second uh, for overtime is key. So yeah, I like that power apo. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Finally, when he's entirely safe, we see the palm. Is that his first palm of the game? Or like uh, second? second? Yeah. Second palm of the game. Ridiculous. Absolutely he did ridiculous. one in the first half against the mummy when he was miles away from the player. This guy should be banned from playing Chaos. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, setting up one last 3D. He's blocked with his dirty player. Oh, did he just move it? Oh, no, he's moved his dirty player in to assist, so there'll be no dirty player foul, and it's only a zombie. It's entirely irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Doesn't matter. You you want him to foul at this point, because you want him to get sent off, you know? So. Oh, yeah, I've just realised, yeah, he's eating up his bench unless his KOs come back. Yeah. In fact, is he a man down if both KOs fail? I think he might be. Yeah. Oh, so an even better Apo. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Apo even more important. Oh, yeah, he had to Apo that. Yeah, absolutely had to Apo that. Okay, he is one of the biggest dice rolls of the game. Oh, it's so broken. The coin toss on overtime minute is so broken. And I, I, I haven't got a solution for it. You know, I haven't got a solution for it. I think one or two people have proposed an idea or two, but it's, you know, it, it's like the penalty shootout in football. It's it's not great, but it's the best way of doing it. Yeah, yeah. And Jim loses. So he's going to have to do this the hard way with the wizard. Yeah. Um, Jim loses so. the top, of course, not Jim loses the game. Yeah. I'm sure that was understood. So he's really got to set up aggressively here because he's got to push. He's going to have to push, isn't he? So now I don't hate the mummies being on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that, um, that goal's finally back, which is nice. And the yeah. stand firm stayed out again. So, okay. Yeah, being able to field three goals in overtime is lovely. Who would have thought that Jim would still have three goals left on the pitch? Yeah. Honestly, this guy has not made a beeline from at all this game, has he? Um, yeah. You know, they're the, they're, the, they're the first players you target, you know? Well, I mean, you spotted it when he was over on the right and you were saying, well, why didn't he hit with the tackle? But he hadn't hit the goal, so... And that was the, that was the prime target, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this um, edge for sure hands. This is the this is the one. This is the recovery from the whiz. Got to find an opening. I'm gonna see. I think Jim be far more aggressive on this one, like uh, like Kaz says. Yeah, 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 yeah. To be. Ah, oh, doesn't want it to be a touchback. No. Anything but a touchback here. Yeah, if this ball is somewhere around that line, it could go wrong. Yeah. There we go. It's on the line. Things yeah, can happen. That's, yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. Just two rerolls from Gant, three for Jim. So Gant's done a pretty good job of not burning through his rerolls like he did in the first half. 
Oh, yeah, the most annoying there. thing about that is it's a DP off the pitch. Although, actually, at this point, I can't see Jim fouling anyway. He'd be more interested in keeping players on the pitch as yeah. opposed to fouling. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's, he can just about handle being one down. He doesn't want to start yeah. putting two and three down. Otherwise, he starts getting desperate. Okay, we can handle a stun. Um, got the mummy blitz. With the strength four. Strength can't five. Re-roll it. Can't re-roll it. No. Stand firm. Thank you. Nice free hit there. And now, an absolutely huge one in nine incoming. Makes it on re-roll. Yeah, ball in hand sucks now. Patience. Jimmy needs some patience now. Not to get too... Uh... Not to get drawn in too much, but Jimmy, you know, unlike this guy, Jimmy is really good at positioning. Got a handy stun out on the right. Uh, don't know if he can, I, don't know if, uh, I don't think he can take the pile on there because he wants to hit the, uh, yeah, he wanted to hit that beastman, didn't he? Yeah. Gets him. Set him in, setting him up for the foul. Oh, mighty I'd blow against him. that armor it. I'd foul the tits off of that guy. Conformity Monkey would be getting stamped to death. Honestly, I'd turn him into prisoner cell block H. Seriously. He'd be getting it in the showers. Do him. Here it comes. Come on, Gorilla Mezzo. Do your job. Let's go. This could be a huge swing. Oh, he's oh for God's sake. That's two fouls, both courts, both for stuns. And that's why Jim hates fouling. Okay, so... 9v11. He's going to have to do something quick. And he's going to need that wizard. Sorry, mate. Just had to go AFK there. No bother. I think I'd like to see. I might have a little look back on the VOD later. There was a little bit of chat from Shurgan there. Yeah. Couldn't quite see it, as somebody said, because of the, uh, the Champion Cup sign. But uh, maybe another look. Looked like he was maybe I don't know I don't want to say that he was talking talking shit he might not have been but it sort of sort of looked like he might have been yeah is he throwing some shade out there is he maybe like I say I don't want to cast aspersions maybe he wasn't but it, it sort of felt like it. I couldn't read every word because of the sign but yeah just an impression I got. You know, I, I, I like talking trash as much as the next guy, but he's got nothing to be happy about this game, as far as I'm concerned. Gantz played not great, you know. Um... Well, it's a, it's a big test of how good you are when, when Claw Palm doesn't fire. Anyone can win when they're playing five men and everyone's, you know, dead and cast and, and whatever. And I... I uh, I commented on a, a couple of Shawnee's games last season, and he didn't get the removals, but he is such a good player that he he just he still got the job done. Yeah, he yeah, would, yeah. He 
he still ran through the other teams because he, he was just better. He didn't yeah. need the removals. They're just a bonus for, for Shawnee. Well, you've got, you got two ends of the Blood Bowl sort of race spectrum insofar as you've got the Wood Elves at one end and then you've got Nurgle Clawpom at the other end. You know, um, and so Clawpom needed to be dealt with. Elves needed to be dealt with as well because on the opposite end of the spectrum, they're just as brutal. You know, and then you've got all the other races in between trying to claw a piece of what's left. You know, so when when people like Jimmy play Undead or, you know, um, dare I say, Crystal Hunter plays Skaven, although Skaven are tilting towards the edge of the Wood Elf spectrum anyway, with a little bit of Claw Palm as well. You know, so um, you could argue that Skaven are a little bit broke. But what do you do about all the teams in between? The humans, you know, the, the Dark Elves, um, you know, dare I say the Dwarves, although Dwarves and Orcs are going to love 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> Go, I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> i got to be a little bit careful commentating on these Champions Cup games, you know, that go into overtime. I am a middle-aged guy, you know. <laughs> I think most of us are. Most of us play. <laughs> I'm just glad oh. we found another game like Among Us, you know, because that's not a first-person shooter that I suck at either. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. What upsets me most is that I think I'm a close to 10 years younger than you, and yet I look 10 years older than you. <laughs> That's the real upsetting thing. Oh, no, you don't. God bless you. Oh, uh, Jimmy with the snakes again. Yeah. Guys. That is awful. So that is going to allow Gant to sideline cage, which he's going to, or yeah. you know, near sideline cage. So I think the wizard will be coming out next turn. Yeah, I think it's going to have to. Yeah. It's going to have to roll the dice, isn't it? That's a horrible one. Um, I just want to point out that uh, my OCC op opponent doesn't appear to be that happy with me that I forgot my OCC game for this. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's saying that the only time he can play is 6 o'clock Tuesday morning. Great. <laughs> Awesome. Just when I want to play a game of Blood Bowl. And when do you start work? Uh, eight. <laughs> Yikes. I do work from home though, um, a fair bit. So I, mean, I can I can probably swing it, but yeah, it's not ideal. The things we do for Team Fantastic, eh, Flicky? Absolutely. Yeah, I've just been really pleased that these last two games have been on a weekend when I was able to uh, to commentate on them. Yeah, I haven't been around, actually, by my own sort of Blood Bowl standards, I haven't been around a lot in the last month or so because I mean, I started a new job a month ago, which is really full on. Um, you know, it comes with a lot of extra responsibility. And I've house moved uh, about three weeks ago as well. Uh, well, sort of beginning of August. Uh, sorry, yeah. um, beginning of September, which was, you know, anyone that's house moved knows how horrendous that is. So yeah, I've had a, I've had a great deal going on. So I haven't been able to stream the way I would like to, and I, I wasn't a prolific streamer anyway, you know. But I haven't been able to stream the way I want to. So I've really sort of just been catching, like your stream and Jimmy's stream, and well, all the usual suspect streams, you know. So hopefully that will improve in the next month or two. Yeah, I've been enjoying some of Gadenix as well on a uh, on a morning with a cup of coffee before I go to work. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a really good player. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. So we've got him back to the centre again. Didn't push down. <clears throat> With not having to stall, I, I thought he might have done. I would have. I, yeah, again, um, I would have absolutely pushed here. Uh, what he's done is he's allowed Jimmy. Right, so we're going to see a bolt. He's going to bolt the ball carrier, okay? And then those ghouls are going to rush. Um, it's just a real shame that Jimmy's Agi 4 yeah. is so far back. I he get why might, he, was, he I might guess. hold it for the turn after after he's repositioned and yeah. repositioned yeah. the Agi 4. If the Agi yeah. 4 was up there, I'd, yeah, absolutely. He would definitely do it, wouldn't he? He'd definitely do it. Yeah, actually, as you say that, I think you might be right. He might. Yeah, he is too far back, Master Zen. Yeah, you and Flicky are right there. 
Which is a shame because otherwise it would be on, wouldn't it? If that Agi 4 was in place of one of those two ghouls, it would be on. Even if you recover the ball and then punt it, you know? <laughs> yeah, and there was a couple of couple of reasons why he had to be back there. The main one being the wrestle on the, the Pom White. You know, he, he hit the wrestler, got the one in nine, and so he couldn't reposition afterwards. Otherwise, he would have been around that side, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. So he had to drop um, deeper. Yeah, and and it looked, for all intents and purposes, that Gant was, um, I think Jimmy might be oh. too in here now. Oh, a misclick. He's got to be a misclick, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's got away a bit. Oh. Ah! <laughs> fucking shit fucking game! Oh, Jim. Was that, that auto-pathing that fucked you there? It was the whole thing when you fucking click on somebody, but the stupid, shitty fuck of a game doesn't fucking register it. Yeah. Fuck me, so now he's in the wrong fucking square as well and everything, it's completely fucked. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, just what you needed on top of the fact that you can't roll a fucking pal for love or money here. Honestly. Not even a misclick, it's just a fucking shit game, isn't it? An absolute fucking shit, fucking horrible shit fucking game. It's so annoying. I could have pushed him into that fucking mighty blow crappy guy. The bludge step, edge four was totally, well not totally, pretty safe, yeah, totally safe. And now instead he can fucking block one blitz the other, well not really I guess. But fuck me, that's so annoying. Getting yeah, fucked in yeah. over time. Fucked by the game, not even, not even a misclick. <laughs> Come on, Jim. You're all right, man. You've still got it. You've got that wizard. Yeah, it's brutal when Blood Bowl does this to you. Well, it's bad, but it's not catastrophic. Don't get me wrong, it's not far from catastrophic right now. <laughs> it is bad, but... Yeah, oh, that's... yeah, that's bad news. That's bad news. Now we're yeah. in catastrophic territory. He has regened if this, if if Jim can get through this. God, CCL Champions Cup is so brutal. Honestly, um, I, I I admire anyone that does it. You know, grinding for essentially nothing now. I I I I, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't grind for six weeks. Hmm. You know, game in, game out. For what? To get screwed over in one game? It's honestly. Yeah. Shit, I'm late. Let's fucking go, Jimmy. Right. Where's that ball going? And what can Jim possibly do with it? I think this is shit or bust territory for Jim now. Yeah. I think um, he, he, absolutely wizard now, you know, because that guy's going to be run into a near scoring position. Yeah. This guy has proved he's not scared of handing off the ball, is he? Yeah, and Jim just doesn't have the numbers now to, to get in the way. Oh, he's gone for the handoff now. Shit. Wow. No. Right, okay. Oh, this ain't bad. No. This ain't bad. Lucky, lucky boy. The fuck was he doing handing off there? So lucky to keep his turn after that with that gatter catch. Wow. <laughs> to be able to protect him. How funny was that when I said this, you know, this guy isn't scared of a handoff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, a totally exposed handoff as well. That was just a panic. Oh, that. The wizard works. Okay, yes. So that's something. Good. How's the scatter? Scatter's okay. It's okay. Still needs to roll some dice here, doesn't he? Still needs he to does. do some work, but... Um, does he have to make two dodges? He could recover the ball, actually. Um, couldn't he? He could recover the ball with the Agi 4 quite easily. Um, does he blitz with the Agi 4 now? Yeah, I think so. Mm. 
Unless he goes for the dodge out with the Rackle. No, he got a blitz with the got a blitz with the goal. Yeah. Oh no, that's on tackle, so no. Yeah, here we go. Fuck you, pushes. And then where do you put the ball when you've got it? Um, I think <clears throat> follow up's interesting. Follows to keep a, 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 a square of movement. Okay, yeah. Gets him in the corner. Tackle can reach where he is. Yeah, he's, 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 gonna, he's, relying, he's relying on dodging the other ghoul and the white now, isn't he? Yeah. Um, but I, I, I tell you what Jimmy's thinking right now. He's thinking, I want to give myself a scoring threat. Not a scoring threat, but a, a player up on the LOS to score. So... Uh, Jimmy was also taking stock of where the tackle palm was. Yeah. No. Oh, fucking game. Hmm. I think Jim should three. probably count himself lucky. He actually managed to roll something over a one in this game at all. There. He was with <laughs> yeah, it. That's something, isn't it? Lucky. It was one in nine match. Imagine. Ah. Oh yeah, they are. They are shading each other in chat. Yeah, they're they're yeah they're throwing some bombs in chat. I caught the tail end of one or two of those comments. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're bombing each other. Si le joueur quitte le terrain, il finira dans les tribunes. Et connaissant les fans de I'm taking my shirt off. Let me out. Fuck it. Team Fantastic Enforcer. Come on, let's do it. Didn't get him. Last re roll. Oh, baby. In Achi 4, we it. trust. In Achi 4, we trust. Yeah. He's going to have tackle on him. And Jim's at a re rolls. Yeah. But still. Okay, that goal not being broken is quite nice. Yeah, it is. And he won't want to block this other goal because then he can sidestep away from tackle. Oh, he shouldn't block this other goal. What a shame the second white was removed from the drive. Yeah. Um, okay. That second white would be amazing right now, wouldn't it? <laughs> it really would. Yeah. Right. What do we do here, Jim? What do we do here? That's the thing, Space Cadet. You know, we all, we're all sort of... Um, we have we all we're all biased towards ourselves, aren't we, when we play this game? Um, and I've got to be mindful that as a dedicated member of Team Fantastic, I'm probably going to see the game in a slightly biased format myself. But I, I think most people watching this, you know, will say, yeah, Jimmy's been absolutely shafted by the dice. Insofar as you know, he's not rolled a bunch of snakes, but he's not rolled hardly any pals. You know, especially against the chaos coach that. A is scared to pom and engage, and B is positioning has been, you know, an absolute pile of dog shit. I think that's been the bigger problem has been that the sort of wider view of, of pitch control and, and things like that and seeing opportunities. Yeah. Well, and then and then he tried a handoff, you know, right next to Ghouls. Um, no, he no. didn't need to. He didn't need need to. Do no. that. He's in full control. He was scared of the wizard. He saw the, the winning line and he, he panicked. Christ, this guy's got some really good stats. <laughs> Holy cow, Rainer. Thanks for bringing that up. He does. He's got some solid stats, to be he fair. Does. Look at that goblin record. Yeah. Necromantic's amazing as well. Yeah. That's why I'm not. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, one in six. Come on. <sighs> well, Jim's given it his absolute all, hasn't he? He really has. Yep, and do you know what? Once again, um, single single game format Blood Bowl is the most brutal form of Blood Bowl there is. Yeah. You know, um, you you spend weeks and weeks grinding to get your team in the cup, uh, which is no easy feat, and then this happens, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, and it's been an yeah. absolute pleasure watching him in playoffs again. You know, he's won two cracking matches. He really has. Oh, absolutely. Let's make no bones about it. Um, you know, making the PC, CCL playoffs is no mean feat. Uh, it's no mean feat at all, you know. And um, the fact is, it's great seeing Jimmy in there. Um, I will fully understand if Jimmy decides to take a bit of a Blood Bowl holiday following this. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Doesn't even need to go for the score here, does he? No, no not at all. He'll just wait one more turn. Yeah, there is no way Jim can even get to him now. Oh, well. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, nice try, Jim. <sighs> there, nice thanks, try, for the, thanks for the donation, Necropotence. And hello, everybody over and said hello too. Sorry. Um, yeah, fucking shit, mate. <laughs> the, the worst thing was the fucking... Not even misclick, just miss fucking... Yeah, it's where you, I hate that we, so much. We were, we were trying to select a player to another, a different player to move to that square and, yeah. and dodge the white. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit, isn't it? So yeah. it cost me my last reroll as well for nothing. Yeah, it's horrible when that happens. <laughs> was, you and, uh, was you and your opponent throwing some shade at each other in the chat, Jim? Um, oh, he said, he, uh, first of all, I said oh, something and he said, yeah, the dice have been quite one sided so far. And then. Uh, and then I said, oh, and then I said, lol, at the blitz. He said too early, because obviously he wanted it to turn off at the next kick. And I said, glad I put the two good guys, one back, because I thought he'll probably get a fucking blitz the way this game's going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, he said, I'm glad you titled your stream Killer Chaos. And I said, it was that or 400 TV down, because <laughs> I thought, fucking twat. <laughs> 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 and then I wrote, lol, nice, is, you know, the rock. And then, and then, obviously, after this absolute dice and of losing, first of all, losing the toss is you fifty fifty to fucking win the game anyway. Yeah. Right? So you lose that, you've lost anyway. And then it's I wrote, imagine game. being lucky ever. And then, and then he said, imagine, imagine losing your best player to a foul because a stupid kickoff event rocked him early. I mean, he didn't have to apple it, did he? To be fair. And then now he's just said, would you have gone for the three plus two plus handoff player? Maybe. <laughs> is all I can say. Can I hit him? What, you mean that ridiculous 3 plus 2 plus handoff play when he didn't need to hand it off because the ball was safe in the yeah. hands of a beast within scoring range? Yeah, mate, <laughs> yeah that's that the day. one. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I might have done. I don't know if I was going to uh, experience any... Uh, you know, I, you can have a head injury any time, can't you? So. <laughs> no, I'm not I, I haven't been particularly kind to this guy. I, you know, in a Blood Bowl context, as you know, as someone pointed out, you know, he's probably in hospital or something. So let's not, you know, judge him outside of a Blood Bowl. But he, his positioning has been horrible. Yeah, he um, let me into the first half for sure. That was that was pretty crazy. That uh... yeah. Lest we forget, Jim. Right, you've rolled an absolute bag full of crap this game. Yeah. You've been lucky if you rolled more than half a dozen pals the whole frigging game. Um, <laughs> You know, he lucked out to score in the first half. Then he blitzed you, you know, and then you lost the toss. <laughs> yeah. How much more How much more do you have to, uh, you know, absorb before yeah. you think, right, okay, this game actually hates me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the thing. Like, I mean, I got the, I got the, uh, I, put, I got the bribes and the dirty player just to kind of discourage him from piling on and that paid off. So, like, even though the, the two fouls that I made were shit, <laughs> at least the threat of the DP fouls, um, kept him from piling on, which it, you know, yeah. I thought it would because nuts, the lack of pylons. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was fair. I thought it was fair because 
uh, you know, he, there, there were a few times when if he'd piled on, he was going to get three assists fouled by a dirty player. And, uh, and, and then the I finally did three assist a dirty player foul him and did nothing to him. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah three fouls for two stuns and two send offs. Pretty standard gym stuff. Yeah, wasn't it just 66% GFIs? <laughs> Ah, oh, mate, I'm, I'm really situation. sorry, Jim, because I know how much how much of a kick in the teeth it is, especially when you spend, you know, X amount of weeks grinding to make the Champions Cup, and then it just comes all undone in a single game blood bowl, which is just brutal, isn't it? So, it uh, is. you know, but Jim, I thought you played a great game. You were four. Let's let's not forget you were 400 TV down. Um, positionally, you were spot on. You almost stopped in first half, and that was because his positioning was not spot on. You know, um, uh, it's just one of them, mate. Uh, one day I'm going to commentate on one of your games where I'm saying to you, it's not one of them. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I'm really sorry, Jim, but thank you very much for letting me commentate. Um, you know, I've always got your back. So, uh, yeah, uh, good luck next season, unless you're going to take a blood bowl holiday following this. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back next season. So thank you very much, Calcium and Flicky Flack. Um, you're very welcome. It was, um, yeah, it was a pleasure as always. Sadly, not the result we wanted. Um, maybe not the result was deserved, but nevertheless, um, yeah, really good. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I didn't expect to do very well with this team, did I? It's a 1,500 team in the playoffs. Like, it was incredible. I got so incredibly lucky to win the first game. Second game was lucky to be facing, a, like, a, a not a great vampire team. So that was, like, I got some luck in the draw. Look in the first game. Look in the draw for the second game, and then this one, 400 TV down. It was it was close, wasn't it? And that's all. I guess that's the, the the thing that pissed me off was the fucking stupid interface. If that had just been not, you know, my mistake, right? Like a genuine mistake or whatever. Like it wouldn't have been so bad. Yeah. But the fact that it was just the shitty game fucking me over, and yeah, that was proper annoying. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right. But anyway thank you very much thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic <laughs>